Managing teams within Alpha Trap might be quite tricky and confusing, and it requires a lot of effort from the developers in order to override the existing color scheme as well as the theme data. But theming also comes with a lot of advantages while working with custom themings for light and dark modes. Therefore, in this video, we will try to look into the theme with a single example using elevated button widget. If we want to explain the entire Flutter theming concept, then a single video may not be sufficient enough. Hence, in this video, to keep it very simple, we try to make use of a single elevated button widget wherein we override the existing color scheme as well as the theme data with our own custom stylings. So, this same technique can be broadly applied to all Flutter widgets of your choice. Hence, without any further delay, let's directly dive into the video and get started. Here, starting with the main data file, our home points to my home page. Here in the my home page, we have a single elevated button placed right at the center. So with Flutter which uses material tree theme, whenever you try to create an elevated button widget, you get this simple elevated button with no fancy stylings. And this simple button styling may not be suitable for all apps. Therefore, let's try to create some fancy stylings for this elevated button widget. Here in the styles, let's try to define the shape, background color, the height and width for the button, as well as the text style. Now by applying custom styling, we can configure the elevator button styles. This styling actually applies to single elevator button widget. Now if we try to create a second elevator button right below it, it actually goes to taking the default theme. And we cannot go for adding styling for each and every button widget which is being used in this app. Therefore in order to avoid this boilerplate, the only thing which we can do is, we can go for overriding the existing theme styles of the elevator button somewhere in our theme data and which applies globally across all screens in a Flutter app. Therefore, let's try to create our own custom theme by overriding the theme data. And what we are trying to achieve is, we are trying to override the existing button theme wherein we don't need to specify its stylings separately for each and every button widget. Whenever we try to create an elevated button, the default theme we override with the custom theming styles and we should apply globally for all elevated button across our Flutter app. Here let's create a separate file called theme data where we override the existing theme data with the custom stylings. Let's try to create a class called theme class wherein we specify the colors for light and dark modes. And here inside this theme class, let's create a static method called theme data where we make use of the material tree theme. And let's try to focus on overriding the elevated button theme alone. And in order to override the elevated button theme, we make use of the elevated button theme data. And here inside this is where we need to apply our own custom styling. First starting with the style, let's try to set the height and width for our elevated button. Where I have specified the width as the double dot infinity which is the maximum width it can take and specified the height as 55. Followed by which let's try to specify the background color where it takes the light primary color which has been defined over here. Following the background color let's define the shape where it takes the rounder rectangular border with the specified border radius. Finally the text style actually applies to the button text where I have specified the button text with a font size of 23. And the foreground color is nothing but the text style color inside the button. So this is a simple example of overriding the existing background or foreground color as well as the text style for the elevated button widget. This is basically for the light theme and the same goes for the dark theme as well. For the dark theme, we just try to make the same stylings for this example. Now as we have specified separate stylings for light and dark theme, we need to specify them in the main method. Therefore, let's head over to the main data file. Here instead of the default theme data, let's try to specify our own custom theme. Therefore, for the theme, it is going to be the theme class dot light theme. Similarly, for the dark theme, we need to specify the theme class dot dark theme. Now, if we restart our app, you will notice that we haven't applied any custom styling for this elevated button widget. Since we are overriding the existing theme data of the elevated button widget, it applies globally to all elevated button widgets across our Flutter app. So this is one simple example where we have override the existing theme data of the elevated button widget. So this technique can be broadly applied to any Flutter widgets of your choice. Therefore, you can go for adding your own custom styling for any of the Flutter widget. Thereby, you can minimize the boilerplate code. Hence, in this video, hope you guys found how to create your own custom theme or override the existing theme data in your Flutter app. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing and I will see you again in the next one.